Como me duele. I don't really know how to say those words, but I like that song a lot. Como la flor. R.I.P. Selena, that's my girl. I don't speak a lick of Spanish. I tried to do Duolingo for like a month and then I just fell off real hard. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Breezy and happy Black History Month! I'm blackity! Today, as I'm filming this, this is the first day of Black History Month. It's February 1st, so to all my black folks out there, happy Black History Month. As we know, every day, every month is Black History Month. We're always celebrating ourselves, celebrating our accomplishments. This ain't nothing different, really. We're not gonna treat it any different. We've been about that life, right? Y'all see, I'm. you know I'm extra. By this point, you know I'm extra. And so, of course, I got on my daishiki, and I got my hair out in full force. Got my big old hoop earrings on, which, by the way, are very heavy. And my ears are definitely gonna be hurting by the time I'm done with this, but it's okay because I'm in special fashion today. I'm excited, I'm feeling super black. So for today's video, I'm gonna do something for the first time on my channel that's not sweet. It's savory. Um, actually, one of my friends, shout out to Rome, also known as Daily Rome. Daily Rome? Rome Daily? I'm sorry, I don't remember your YouTube name, bruh. But I'm gonna put it in there. I can go check out his videos. He does a lot of motivational self-talk. Um, he has a podcast coming out soon too. So stay tuned to him. He's a cool dude. He actually did a video for us a while back. And um, it's kind of like a cinematic, like food video. It was of me making these spinach feta scones. And I'll actually insert the video here so you can watch it. Shout out to Rome, appreciate that video. It's still dope, I still go back and look at it every now and then. Be sure to go check him out, cause he's cool. I never would have thought that I would like spinach feta anything, but Rome said that they are low key better than the cheddar biscuits from Red Lobster. I'm going to miss this a yeah. little bit. Is it Olive Garden? No. Red, oh, Red Lobster. Lobster. Yep, the cheddar biscuit. It tastes like that. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's a picky eater, so. I'm just saying, he wouldn't lie for me either. He's not one of those. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. I've been talking a lot today. I'm tired of hearing myself, so let's just start this video. I got one and a fourth cups of flour in this bowl, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, three fourths teaspoons of salt. Oh! See, look, I told you these earrings were heavy. They don't fell out on me. You know what? I can't find the other little back, so I'm just gonna take them out. Oh well. I forgot again. Preheat my oven, put on my apron. This is a really weird measurement, but it's one and three fourths plus one eighth teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm just gonna whisk it together a little bit. Then I'm gonna get my spinach. It's a cup. So I'm gonna take it, put it there. Y'all gonna see me cut. So I love cutting stuff. It just makes me feel so professional. And not that I'm the best at it, but I just feel legit, you know, like, Feels like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna take it, kind of gather it like that. And roughly, there's probably some chef somewhere watching this cringing, looking at my technique, of which I have none because I am not a professional. And bring my bowl back. And I'm going to throw in my spinach, throw in my feta cheese, which is already mostly crumbled, but if these pieces are kind of big like that, you can come up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in some black pepper here. I can't find my bigger shaker, so I'm just gonna have to shake it in like that. Like that. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of garlic powder. Now I'm just gonna mix it together with my hand. Y'all know I don't like getting my hands dirty, so I put on my glove. Uh, a half cup and plus an eighth cup of heavy whipping cream and pour it right on in there. And for those of you who don't know what a scone is, I guess I didn't really give any background on that. Scones, I believe, could be wrong, 
I believe have British origins. It's honestly, it tastes like a flavored biscuit. Like our kind of biscuits, not their kind of biscuits. Their kind of biscuits are also called hard cookies, which are gross. Oh wait. Oh, I messed up. I messed up really bad. Oh crap. I forgot the butter. Okay. Uh, shoot. Okay. I'm gonna see what I can do about this. I need a fourth cup of butter. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grate it in and hopefully that'll be good enough. Ordinarily, I would have put the butter and the flour mixture into the food processor because that allows it to break down really, really well and kind of get really incorporated into the dough. But here I am. Stupid, stupid, stupid. This I will repeat so that if you try it, you'll do it correctly. Grate or pastry blend or cut in the butter into the flour mixture before the spinach is in there, before the feta is in there, definitely before the whipping cream is there. You should do this at that point. And it needs to be cold butter. Not room temperature, not I took it out 20 minutes ago, cold, fresh out butter. That's what makes them super flaky and delicious. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to like work it in as much as I can. It should end up looking something like this, right? It's gonna be kind of crumbly still, so don't don't add more heavy whipping cream, it's fine. Bring back my cutting board that I used to cut up my spinach. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on there. I'm gonna take this, and you're just gonna plop it right out onto the cutting board. Form a little circle. Form a circle. Form, form a circle. Form a circle. Form, form a circle. I was never a cheerleader, but there was like a year or two when I secretly wanted to be, but I couldn't say it out loud because I was an athletic girl. I was like, people can't know that I want to be a cheerleader. They'll make fun of me. So I kept it by myself. But I secretly learned all their cheers. <laughs> and would do them at home. So bring back the knife. And I really like to go right down the middle. Got a baking sheet and I'm just gonna take them, put them on there. I'm gonna bring back out the heavy whipping cream and just put a little bit into a small bowl or something. And then I'm just gonna take a brush, dip it in there, and just brush the top of the scones. And what this does is it, in the end when you bake them, gives the tops like this little shiny finish that's really pretty. Now, you just go ahead and pop them into the oven, bake for about 14 minutes, and then they'll be done. Here they are. Some of them are a little bit irregular shapes. They're not the most beautiful things, but I'm sure they'll be good. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on my favorite plate. You know, I love these plates. And now for the taste test. That's kind of what it looks like on the inside. As you see, super flaky. You got the chunks of the spinach. You got chunks of feta in there. You can see really well. Let me see. Ah, oh, crap. I'm always thirsty when I do these things. Hold on. I got to start drinking something before I film these because it dries my throat out every time. But they're pretty good. They're not as flavorful as... We usually make them, so I don't know if they just needed more seasonings in there. You know what, I think it needed more feta because technically that container I dumped in was only four ounces and I was supposed to do a cup of feta cheese and anybody who knows baking, eight ounces equals a cup. So obviously it was missing like half the feta that I should have had, that was my bad. But I didn't feel like buying two containers of it. I just didn't. So um, yeah, they're pretty good. I won't complain. I give myself a mm, 3.5 out of 5 spatulas because I didn't follow the directions and because of that it turned out that they didn't turn out as good as they could have 
So that was my fault. I blame myself. And I deserve to be marked down for that. Because I could have done better. If I'd have been better. I've disappointed the ancestors. <sighs> well, that's all I got. This has been spinach feta scones. Try them at home. You can make them smaller than this. You can make them bigger than this if you want to. You don't have to. Do whatever you want to do. Honestly, for real, it's up to you. Thank you for watching as always. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, and send me stuff that you want me to do. You send me good stuff, easy stuff, um, ethnic recipes. I might try it out. You never know at some point. Happy Black History Month. It's been me, Breezy. Bye. <laughs> that was so weird.